So I tried to texture the cube with on using only eight vertices and the result is not what I expected. So as you see two of the faces, the front and the back, are properly uh, textured but the other four sides of the cube have these stretched uh, textures. So I couldn't find any way how to texture a cube uh, with only eight vertices. So I just find an, another solution and this solution is using 24 vertices instead of 8. So <clears throat> it looks like this is the minimal amount of vertices we have to use, so 24, in order to properly texture uh, all the sides of the cube. So instead of having one solid cube object, now we have a cube with separated faces. So now it will look like this at the end of the video. So now we, we will have four vertices for each face. And uh, we have six faces, so six times four, 24 vertices at the end. And using 24 vertices, we can uh, give the texture coordinates to all the faces properly. Which means that, unfortunately, we will have some uh, duplicate vertices. So, so in all of the core, all of the corners of the cube, it's so not duplicate but triple vertices. So, uh, in all of the corner, there will be three vertices in top of each other. But there is no other way. I at least I didn't find any other way how to do this with less than 24 vertices. Uh, this guy who wrote this Learn OpenGL book on learnopengl.com he uses 36 vertices instead of so he instead of 24 because he he don't use any indices so and you may ask that what is the purpose of indices of the element buffers without the element buffers to draw this cube we will need 36 vertices instead of 24. So it is with element uh, buffer, it is 12 vertices less. So without the element buffers, all the faces will have separate, two separate triangles. And these triangles have all three vertices. So one face will, will consist of uh, two times three, which is six vertices, and six times six with, to all the faces is 36 uh, vertices. So I did the hard part and I'm just calculated all the vertices for, all, for the faces top face, bottom face, right face, left, front and back face 
all the texture coordinates and all the indices. So off screen I'm gonna copy these values into my code. So at the end of the video I'm gonna uh, upload all this code to my GitHub repository. So I just copied all the vertex positions, the colors and the texture coordinate from my node here. And of course, all the indices <coughs> for the cube. So I don't gonna need this file and uh, as you see the texture coordinates are simple it's for every face it is zero zero one zero one 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 uh, zero one and the same for the other faces zero one zero blah 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 blah, blah. Okay, so now I, I have to just create a vertex at attribute pointer for the uh, texture coordinates. So I'm 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 gonna type it out. Sometimes it's easier just copy and paste. So vertex as a three pointer and this is this will be on location two. The co texture coordinates has have two values, float, false. And now the I the items not the item size but the uh, stride will have eight eight times the four byte so 32 and uh, offset is 24 and just enable the attribute array two so okay it's okay off screen i just uh, copied the texture generation and that and the texture loading this is the same as as uh, in the previous videos and uh, yes, we need to change the vertex shader. So in layout, layout, and this will be on the location two, and it's a vector two, and how to name it. Uh, Text core, texture chords, texture, uh, texture chords like this, and the semicolon. So texture chords, uniform matrix, and we're gonna create an out vector type of two and let's name it new new texture and out vector two new textures so now texture I'm gonna set it to the texture chords 
so the input for this vector 2 texture chords comes from here I'm setting here an output vector new texture and set its value to the input texture chords so I need here um, an input for that in back uh, rack 2 and it is this it has to have the same name as this new texture and uh, the out color mm, comment this out the out color will be texture this is a built-in function or method in GLSL uh, yes I'm gonna need to create uh, let's say what is it uh, uniform uniform sampler 2d let's say sampler Texture sampler texture. So this sampler 2D, I think it just samples uh, all the pixels on the image. And this function, this texture 2D, is. And the first argument is the sampler texture sampler texture and the second argument is this input vector so it samples uh, this sampler to this samples the pixels on the image and this texture function uh, needs the sampled Im uh, pixels and the coordinates uh, how to map those uh, pixels to the geometry so I think it now should work so texturing uh, I'm gonna run this Let's see texture in cube video 11. And yes, it's working. So now we have all the faces properly textured. One last thing. Uh, yes, I'm going to change this to texture. So in the in the loop nothing changes but I'm going to do this a bit more dynamic so len length of in this so now we don't have to give static value but when we change the indices array and uh, yes i wanted to show you or to try out <laughs> what happens when we mix in the colors which coming from here with this with the texture uh, and we <laughs> have a beautiful rainbow textured Great. <laughs>